Buddy Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Gate of Nightmares chapter 13. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because of course this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. And I am just a one woman and somewhere around here. One kitty operation struggling to keep a roof over our heads and praying to the almighty manga and anime gods that uh, we're not going to be homeless and living on the street. But, but, but if you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so I can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our Cash Up and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So, well, last chapter, we were heading back to the kingdom, and we went to this giant tree, and, well, it's not like the world tree up in Kragani Nova Hallion. Nah, that's a huge-ass tree, because well, it's, it's, it's the world tree, Norse world tree. God, I fucking love that manga. But anyway, I digress. Um, and, um, there's a girl up in that tree. Is she the Cassandra? AKA, you know, the one that's going to be given the prophecies up in here? Maybe, because she's telling us that the world's going to, the world's going to end. And it, if uh, a certain kingdom has their way, it probably is. Let's get to this chapter and see what's in store for us this week. And this chapter is titled, A New Adventure. All right, I'm healed. Let's go. You I just treated your wounds. <laughs> nightmare, that, um, nightmare attacks can cause a variety of side effects. You have to stay in bed until you're fully healed. This bit is very Goku-esque, isn't it? Oh my god, there's been a lot of Dragon Ball references today. King and Omega, you started this. Yeah, kitty, I know. Say hi to the sensei, kitty. Hi, sensei. Kitty always says hi to the sensei. Yeah. He's my nightmare kitty. Woo! Nightmare kitties. Alright, nightmare kitty. You just chill. We got work to do. And then I will play fetch with you. I don't know what it is with this cat. He acts like a dog sometimes, I swear. He'll meow and meow and meow with this ball waiting for me to throw it. it is the most insane thing ever anyways sure thanks you no idea what he's talking about <laughs> uh please excuse me um uh, who are wait who are you old man um i'm sire member of the royal knights hmm. some of the missing people uh were members of the royal knights so thank you for saving my comrades sure Oh, wait, sure, dude, like, dude, I can't with this hair. I can't with this hair, and it's just giving me some Mr. T realness. It is. I can't. I know your friends aren't fully healed yet, uh, but Sir Steel wants to see you. Steel? Sir Steel Keys! It's Steel Key! Oh, he mad. Holy, um, oh my god. Your sword skills were awesome back then. Hey, hey, are, um, hey, hey, are all of uh, the seven star knights as strong as you? What's your training routine? Who was your strongest opponent yet? What did you eat this morning? Ouch, ouch. Hey, don't be so rude. I'm so sorry, Estio, Sir Estio. Dude, I would want to punch him. I would want to punch him too, I swear. It's like, calm down, boy. Oh, right, why didn't you want to see us? Um, thanks for, uh, your efforts, all the, um, asshole, you need to calm down, my dude, seriously. Um, thanks to, uh, your efforts, all the missing people have returned safely. Furthermore, you have defeated the nightmare that caused the disappearances. So as promised, um, um, Emma, your crimes will be forgiven. And Azel, you have earned yourself a Nightwalker license. <gasps> you earned a Nightwalker license. Kitty, you hear that? You earned a Nightwalker going. Really? Yes! Thank goodness, but I didn't even help! That's not true. If it wasn't for your help, um, uh, Ouroboria would have killed Azel. You did a great job, and you should be proud of yourself, Emma. Miss Abigail! Yay! Next 
next I would like to give you your first official assignment. An assignment for the Royal Palace? How? Now we can even team up with the best guilds! So who's going to be our next strong opponent? Come in. Your mission will be to take care of this young girl. Yay! Ah, that girl. Ah, you're that girl who appeared with a huge tree. They said they take care of you in the castle. I didn't know you were already awake. I'm so glad. How do you even end up in that place? What's your name? She's like, whoa! Back up. Huh? This girl is called, uh, Meruru, uh, but she can't remember anything except her name. You mean she has amnesia? Yes, that's right. You two will protect Meruru and help her recover her memories. This is an official request from the Royal Palace. God damn it, Abigail, you need more hair, my girl. And you need to be cinched. And yes, I am going to bitch about this every week until it gets fixed. Her, she does not look right. Then proportions are driving me fucking nuts. If she was, if Abigail was cinched just a little bit more, like right here, oh my god, she would look so much better. Because right now, she looks terrible. Ugh, the jacket is almost where it needs to be. It really goddamn is. It's just she needs to be cinched. Oh my god, if Ab Abigail just really needs to be cinched just a teeny bit. And that hair, she, she don't have enough hair on her head either. It's driving me goddamn wild. I can't stand it. Please put more hair on this woman's head. Um, so it's mandatory? Yes. Good luck! <laughs> I'm not sure if Asshole and I would be good caregivers. So you're a new guild, uh, so you're a new guild member. My name's Asshole. Nice to meet you. I'm, uh, uh, I'm Maru, and I'm very sorry for causing you trouble. Kitty, you caused me trouble. I love you. He's looking at me like, what, what, what the fuck? I didn't do anything. What did the Senate say about the Moonguard incident? You're still discussing. It's an important matter of international concern, so they need more time to think. If only the king were here. Uh, should we notify Prince Oliver? No. Not yet. Kitty, you gonna go fight them? You gonna go fight them butt but heads? You gonna go fight him? Yeah, look at that. He knows. He knows what to do. Oh, you are smart, kitty. You are so very smart, kitty. He's the best kitty. Because he's my kitty. Right, Zeno? So, this is where you live? Yeah, and these guys are my friends. We still have an empty room. Uh, you can live. Uh, you can live there. Don't just decide that yourself. But I guess it's fine. Uh, thank you very much for letting me live here on such short notice. So, Meru, right? I I heard that you don't remember or anything. But um, your name is that true? Uh, yes. And the only thing I have with me is my star magic gem. Nothing that could give us a clue. Hmm. Oh, it's so pretty. I've never seen a white star magic gem before. Is it a special one? Hey, maybe there's an address on the uh, on the back. I wrote the guild's address <laughs> on my sword. Seriously, no! No, I'm sorry. Nightmare keys. Um, it's delicious. Yeah, keys, key keys. Ah, but there's one more thing I I remember. What is a key? Do you remember? What do you remember, key? What do you remember? I had a certain dream when I was asleep. A dream. I had the same exact same dream over and over again. I heard a loud sound, and suddenly the forest and even the ground dis itself disappeared. Everything was gone, and there was nothing left. Oh no, Keys, that's not good, right? At the end of the dream, someone would always whisper to me, This world is coming to an end. Hmm, th hmm this dream sounds more like a nightmare. 
But could it be a clue to your memories? Anyway, let's have a, um, let's start by having a look at that star magic gem. Uh, maybe we can find something out about you, um, <laughs> maybe we can find something out about you, Meiru. Ah, yes! Hmm? Whoa, what? A star magic gem! <gasps> what just happened? This beam of light suddenly appeared! The bell's planes are in that direction. I wonder why it's pointing there. I don't, I don't know. No. This looks like an adventure. Let's go. We're going on adventure keys. Adventure keys. Yeah. Let's go, baby drop. Come on. Oh, what the? Come on, you didn't, you, you didn't ask me. Um, uh, I would like to go too. Maybe we can find something um, out about me. But maybe it will lead us to a big treasure. Uh, this trip might be worth it after all. Yeah, keys. Maybe there will be catnip for the Zenos. It's like, what? <laughs> all right, Miru, uh, Ru, let's go. Uh, Makata, please take care of the ca uh, guild, okay? Yeah. Hmm. Is this the light that will save the world? Or is it the light that will lead to destruction? I'm excited for this. I'm excited. I'm excited for this. This is gonna be some good shit. Right, kitties? We got some good shit here. Yes, we do. We go on an adventure. But I'm telling you, I need more with this art. It is goddamn killing me. Because, <sighs> Shinori, you need to give me more with this art. The writing, and this is, this is very much a Rushibara situation. The writing, I am not having problems with. I'm, I could get, writing could be better, though. Writing's fine, but it could be better. Writing always could be better. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. Anything could always be better. Nothing is perfect in life. Um, and the art, though, this was like this with Togen Anki, too, let's be real. But damn, Togen, oh, I gotta say this about Rushibara, though, because I covered Togen Anki earlier today. Rushibara is stepping it the fuck up with these backgrounds, and I am so happy. Oh my god, it looks so much better. Oh my god, we're getting more out of Togen Anki now. And it makes me happy. And the landscapes look fabulous. But Yoshinori, I need more. I need more. In the, and also the textures. <gasps> oh my god, we're getting more with textures. The blood weapons look better. Holy shit. But... I know it's it was baby steps. It took almost a hundred chapters to get there. I don't want it to take a hundred chapters to get get where this manga should be. Nah. And also, ooh, ooh, you, uh, Yoshinori, you should see what Atsuo did in uh, One Hundred Years Quest with that battle between Selene and Ignea. If you want to do Mashima art and not be Mashima, that is how you do it. Oh my god, it was gorgeous. Gorgeous. But seriously, give me more detailing. That's what this needs, is more detailing. I just need it. I need it. Because I feel like with this manga, it's a little bit more above the bare minimum than like the bare minimum. Because this isn't like a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, um, uh, Crazy Diamond's uh, Demonic Heartbreak situation. Because JoJo, there's it's more flexibility. You could do whatever the fuck you want with it, and you, and they ain't doing it. It drives me nuts. 
here it's like you can do there's you could do what you want but it's Ma but to an extent because you got you have Mashima's art style to look at and not only that you you look at what Atsuo has done in Fairy Tale 100 Years Quest and it's like and you got also got the art of the game too but man Yoshinori I need more from you I need more I need more Well, I get it. I'm praying to the gods I will. I know it's baby steps with this one. I can accept that it's baby steps with this one. This ain't like Diamond No Ace Tag 2 where it shouldn't be baby steps. Because, motherfucker, it, this is... The Diamond No Ace Tag 2 should never be baby steps. Nah. Pisses me off that it's baby steps with it. I don't understand why. It doesn't need to be. This, I can, this is where it's like, okay, I can understand Yoshinori is getting used to Mashima's art. So, okay. This is why I'm like, okay, I'm fine with going baby steps here. I'm fine with it. But I just need more from this art. I need it bad. But I'm very excited for this next adventure. I just won't. I want more from this art, though. God damn it. I want it to be, like... Especially since I've been spoiled all day today. Oh my god, I've been so spoiled. I've been very spoiled. I'm covering this right after I covered, like, Oshinoko, which was... <gasps> oh, Oshinoko was so gorgeous. So, yeah. I am very, very spoiled. I'm telling you, I need more from this. I need more. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys saw this chapter. Are you guys excited for this next adventure, for this next arc? I'm really, I'm very excited for this next arc, but god damn it, I just want more from this art. And if you hate me for having high expectations, then deal with it. Because I have them and I'm not changing them for nobody. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Against Inc. Love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so I can keep bringing you more Gate of Nightmares content. So I think I might be the only one covering this manga, which I don't understand why. A few ways you can do that. Now you take doing to my cash app, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.